So the big question is this. As hardworking Americans like us, ones who weren't born rich, what side hustle can we do that'll give us more control, more freedom, and more confidence in our lives? How can we make our own money when we want, where we want, and how we want, while being our own boss and calling all the shots? What can you do right now that quickly, simply, and easily banks you an extra $1,000 to $5,000 a month? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is AJ, and welcome to the Flipping Ninja Podcast. Hey guys, it's AJ here, the Flipping Ninja. This podcast is going to be about the topic of being your own boss. So a lot of people say, you hear a lot of people say things like, it would be so cool if I could be my own boss. Or, yeah, one day I would like to be my own boss. And here's the thing. Being your own boss on the surface, it sounds like the coolest thing ever. I mean, you don't have a boss. You don't have someone telling you what to do. You can do whatever you want on your own terms. You don't have to wake up to an alarm. You don't have to, you know, all these things, which, I mean, those things are true. It is true that being your own boss is one of the the greatest things you can ever achieve, I feel, um, is freedom, meaning you can be your own boss. And that's great and all, but here's the thing that people don't know. There's another side of that, that they completely are are blinded. They, they're too blind to see this other side that comes with it. So the, you know, saying things like, oh, I want to be my own boss. It sounds amazing. It sounds awesome. And it is awesome. But here's the thing that people miss. I, I never caught this. I never truly saw this until I went through it myself. Until one day, I became my my own boss. I quit my corporate job, I walked away from it, and I became my own boss. So after I did that, there was this whole new world that I did not expect to see. Now, fortunately, I trained, I basically prepared myself for years and years and years before I made that decision. Meaning you don't just one day wake up and say, I'm gonna quit my job, I'm gonna be my own boss now and do what I love to do and get paid for it. It doesn't work like that. What happens is, well, here's the thing. If, if it does work like that, then what's going to happen is you're going to fail miserably because you're, you're blinded to the other side of being your own boss, which I'm going to explain to you right now. So being your own boss is something that as cool as it is, the other side to being your own boss is that it takes a ridiculous amount of complete, you know, traits that you might never even learn or use in life. It takes a ridiculous amount of discipline of, you know, being your, you know, being your own boss. I mean, you literally, you have to be your own boss. And that means if you don't feel like doing something or if you're feeling tired or lazy, or, you know, you just don't want to do something or wake up or work or get something done, then what's going to happen is you're going to, first of all, you're going to fail miserably and you're going to not be able to produce income and revenue and, and run your business because you don't have those traits. Now, the thing is, I would say probably 90% of people who, who say things like, I want to be my own boss. If you made, if you, if they became their own boss, for example, just as an experiment or as a test, they would completely collapse and fail probably after a week. And the reason that happens is because look, when you're working a corporate job or if you're a student going to school, you're, you've already got your routine and lifestyle there and it's filling the gaps. It's keeping you busy and occupied. Now, when you take that away, when you take away working 40 hours a week or going to school or going to work every day and knowing that you have to be there no matter what, when you take that away, so much happens for most people they can't take it. They go insane because they need something to keep them busy. They can't be alone. They can't handle thinking. They can't handle being alone with themselves and prioritizing what they need to do and then doing it. So that's just one of the, one of the issues out of the many. The other one is they haven't trained or developed success traits such as high levels of discipline, a no quitting attitude, you know, a completely ruthless and forward moving, ambitious mindset and attitude, um, the ability to take risks, extreme levels of confidence, 
to make big decisions, extreme levels of courage to, you know, to even try to go at it this way. And it takes complete self-belief that you are going to make it. You, that means when you wake up every day and you do your own, you know, you run your business, you have to 100% believe that you're doing this. I mean, there is no half-ass thinking about it. There is no, oh yeah, I want to go at it. I might fail, but I'm going to try anyway. That does not exist. You go into it with a thousand percent conviction, knowing. It's not even believing. It's knowing that you're going to do it. You have so much self-belief and self-confidence, and you're going to do whatever it takes. And then obviously, coupled with that, you've got all these success traits like discipline um, and etc. Now, here's the thing that people don't realize. Developing all of these things that I just described does not happen the day you quit your job. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes years and years and years to build these success habits and traits that'll keep you moving forward and continuing to thrive. It takes years of time, energy, effort, constant learning, and even money invested into yourself before you can basically have the confidence to pursue, you know, being your own boss, this thing that everybody dreams about and fantasizes about. So I'm going to top it off with this one last thing. I'm going to say if you truly want to become your own boss, not if you want to become your own boss, because everybody kind of says that, but if you truly know that deep down in your heart, that's what you're going to do, you have to have a little bit of craziness in you. I'm not talking about psychotic craziness where you're, you know, on meds and drugs and stuff like that. I'm talking about a crazy, unrealistic mindset and attitude and perception. You're not, you know, you you don't listen when people say be realistic. The the words be realistic are your least favorite words. You're constantly, you know, taking risks, doing unconventional things, doing things that normal people would not do, and you're just scaling up. And you're going against the the norm of things. And that can mean, you know, business-wise, you know, in whatever sense. You know, lifestyle-wise, how you economize and spend your energy. I mean, the most successful people in the world spend so much time with, you know, investing in themselves, reading, or like training or learning. They, they put so much goes into themselves that any normal person would not be able to do it unless they're kind of crazy and crazy can be replaced with the word, you know, passionate. Um, but basically they're able to work for 18 hours straight. They're able to, you know, wake up on, you know, four hours of sleep and completely just kill it and be fully motivated, full energy. They never shut off because they have that, that level of passion or craziness to it. So that's the last thing I would say passion Um, kind of trumps all so if you've got true passion first of all if you have if you've discovered what your passion is that's one of the the greatest you should be thankful because that's one of the best things that can happen to you is someone discovering what their true passion is a lot of people go through their lives they get older and they still don't know what they're passionate about they're just kind of living their life so if you can discover what you're truly passionate about I mean you've got this new level of power that will take you to the top, take you to the end, take you to, you know, whatever goals you have, because that passion will never die until you die. So back to uh, being your own boss, it's not this easy, like fairy tale, fun, fantasy type thing. You know, it's when, when somebody says, you know, today, obviously I'm not like rude. I'm not going to, you know, say something or comment, make a comment. But when, you know, let's say you're at a restaurant with some friends and maybe you hear someone say, oh, I want to be my own boss. I mean, I always, I always get that thought. I'm like, okay, yeah, you like inside, I'm just thinking you have no idea what you're getting into. And if maybe, you know, perhaps if they did know, they would never want to be their own boss and they would want to continue to just work like a nine to five type employee job. So like I said, I don't want this to sound like a discouraging uh, talk or anything. Um, I'm not saying that you should not go after it, or I'm not saying that. You, you, like, I'm just. I don't want it to be negative or discouraging, but I just 
simply wanted to paint it, paint a picture for you that being your own boss takes hard work. It takes a lot of self investment, um, and it, it just takes a lot. It's it's not something small or casual. Um, you have to be a ridiculously hard worker, highly disciplined, um, very strong clarity. Clarity is probably a, another giant thing you need. You need complete clarity. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? How are you going to make money? How are you going to run your business? What kind of processes will you have going? How are you going to do this? I mean, look, you wake up. It's you know 7 a.m. Everybody's getting ready to go to work, You know, drive to work, work eight hours, come home. You wake up at 7 a.m. and you're just there. What are you going to do? How are you going to spend your day? You know, seven. It's 7 a.m. You eat breakfast. It's 8 o'clock. It's 9. What are you doing all day long? So, you know, it's, it's not something that you're just like, yeah, I want to be my own boss. And then everything is just perfect. There's so much that goes into uh, entrepreneurship that takes a lot of special skill sets that you can, be, that you can learn, obviously. You know, they're all learnable. But um, you need to learn the skill sets. And learning the skill sets takes time, energy, money, and effort. And then to top it all off, once you learn all the skill sets, you can't really put it into action. It's hard to put it into action unless you possess that one thing, that one big thing, which is just simply that passion and clarity. You know, if you want it bad enough, you're going to get it. But if you're kind of like unsure, or you're not 100% clear, you won't get it. How are you going to, you know, if, if, you're in, if you're in a car that has a GPS in it, how are you going to get anywhere if you don't know where to... Uh, program your GPS, you know, if you don't have a destination on your GPS, you're just going to be driving recklessly, just nonstop throughout life. And that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you could just be driving and enjoying the view. Um, But specifically, if you're listening to this, you're probably someone who has thought about just being your own boss, or maybe even wants to be your own boss and, you know, quit the rat race. Um, So you, uh, so you, you know that you want more out of life. You know that you do want to be your own boss. So you're just trying to learn as much as you can as you go. And I hope that this, this talk has provided some kind of insight or value to you. Um, that is not discouraging, but rather encouraging. I feel like this talk kind of filters out those who truly have it in them versus those who don't have it in them. Those who are scared or like nervous or not, you you know, never wanted it anyway, like from the heart they will probably become discouraged from this and then it'll it'll justify they'll justify why they won't do it with this but those who are relentless hungry and know that this is what they want this should motivate the shit out of you and make you want to skill up even more even faster you know stop wasting all your time stop wasting energy time and money on things that are not serving you you know you have to learn to start economizing your time, energy, and your money. Meaning you can't be wasting time doing, you know, random things. You can't be wasting time watching TV shows or just sitting on the couch or, you know, partying or going out to, you know, drink and, you know, just hang around and waste time because you know, you know that it takes a lot. Everybody who's their own boss, every successful person, it takes a lot. I mean, it takes a lot of success traits to get there, but here's the good news. These success traits are universal and you can learn them from people who have already done done it. So that means that all of these things that you need to learn that'll take you to that place where you can be your own boss, for example, is available to you right now. You know, they're available to you in the form of people, books, you know, the internet. Uh, you know, go to, go to the library. Everything is already discovered. Your job is just to go and learn the right things, learn what you need to learn to do it, learn from those who have done it, and then just start doing it. And uh, yeah, so that is uh, kind of, I kind of went overboard on this. I didn't mean to make it that long, but I, uh, it just kind of gets to me every time I hear somebody say, casually say, I want to be your own boss. And I know I'm probably being like all like crazy and extreme about it. You know, I mean, it's like, I, I, I'm not, it's not like I'm like, oh, well, if you want to be your own boss, you have to know, you know, I'm like, no, I I totally get it. Like, it is awesome. You know, being your own boss is like the coolest thing ever. So conversation's sake and uh, et cetera, um, you know, don't judge people. If if someone says they want to be their own boss, don't immediately start like thinking about all these things, you know, encourage them, continue to agree with them. I mean, yeah, it is awesome to be your own boss. You got your own schedule. Everything uh, is on your terms. You can travel if you want. You can 
You can even freaking wake up and just go back to sleep if you want. But uh, uh, yeah, don't be uh, negative about it. Be in, uh, encouraging, be positive, because you never know. I mean, some people some people have rid ridiculous power inside of them and they haven't discovered it. Maybe one day they'll wake up and be like, okay, yeah, boom. And they'll just, you know, become the next Bill Gates or something. So, um, yeah, becoming your own boss. That is, uh, that is it. This has been the flipping ninja podcast from the crew at the flipping ninja.com. We believe that all Americans should be able to make their own money without having to rely on a job. If you're ready to ditch the 9 to 5, visit theflippingninja.com and join our Flipping Ninja Blueprint Masterclass, where you'll discover how to earn a reliable side income of $1,000 to $5,000 a month flipping things with just 5 to 10 hours a week. See, we're on a mission to help 100,000 people earn $1,000 a month on the side flipping things. Working professionals, students, parents, men, women, artists, techies, entrepreneurs, introverts, total newbies, you name it. Be a part of the revolution and blast out of living paycheck to paycheck once and for all at www.theflippingninja.com. Until next time, remember, you're just one flip away from freedom. Want to make a difference? If you enjoyed today's show, please pay it forward and head over to iTunes. Give us a rating and leave a review so others just like you can benefit and take charge of their financial future.